convert each angle to the requested form, and round all decimals to the nearest hundredth. In part A, we'll convert 175 degrees to an approximate radian decimal. We'll use the conversion multiplier reference chart to assist us with our work. We are converting from degrees to radians, so multiply 175 degrees by pi over 180 degrees. Using a calculator, multiply to get 3.05 radians. In part B, convert 210 degrees to an exact value radian. We'll use the conversion multiplier reference chart to assist us with our work. We are converting from degrees to radians, so multiply 210 degrees by pi over 180 degrees. Reduce the fraction to get 7 pi over 6 radians. In part C, convert 120 degrees to an exact value revolution. We use the conversion multiplier reference chart to assist us with our work. We are converting from degrees to revolutions, so multiply 120 degrees by 1 revolution over 360 degrees. Reduce the fraction to get 1 over 3 revolutions. In part D, convert 2.5 radians to degrees. Recall that an angle without any units is actually radians. We'll use the conversion multiplier reference chart to assist us with our work. We are converting from radians to degrees, so multiply 2.5 by 180 degrees over pi. Use your calculator to get 143.24 degrees. In part E, convert 3 pi over 2 radians to degrees. We'll use the conversion multiplier reference chart to assist us with our work. We are converting from radians to degrees, so multiply 3 pi over 2 radians by 180 degrees over pi. Use cancelling and multiply to get 270 degrees. In part F, write 3 pi over 2 radians as an approximate radian decimal. We do not need a conversion multiplier to go from an exact value radian to an approximate radian decimal. Just evaluate the radian in your calculator. This gives an answer of 4.71 radians. In part G, convert pi over 2 radians to an exact value revolution. We'll use the conversion multiplier reference chart to assist us with our work. We are converting from radians to revolutions, so multiply pi over 2 by 1 revolution over 2 pi. Cancel and multiply to get 1 over 4 revolutions. In part H, convert 0 0.5 revolutions to degrees. We'll use the conversion multiplier reference chart to assist us with our work.
We are converting from revolutions to degrees, so multiply 0 0.5 revolutions by 360 degrees over 1 revolution. Multiply to get 180 degrees. In part I, convert 3 revolutions to radians. We'll use the conversion multiplier reference chart to assist us with our work. We are converting from revolutions to radians, so multiply 3 revolutions by 2 pi radians over 1 revolution. Multiply to get 6 pi radians. 